This is a tilefish. A tilefish is technically its own family. There are two fish in it. There's the brown tilefish and the golden tilefish, sometimes called blue tilefish. This fish is lumped into the bass category on our campus because it looks like a bass with its Hershey Kiss gill plate. It's got hard bones like a bass and it's medium activity so it has a swimming capacity and oil content of a bass. Sometimes it's referred to in the industry as golden bass. Visually they have gold spots on a gray body. I have this pen here to give you scale. This is one of the bigger tilefish we've seen on campus. They have large white anal fins with gray tips and if you look at their dorsal fin it's long and continuous gray yellow and white and the biggest identifying characteristic on this fish is this adipose fin on top of the head and we know bass don't have adipose fins so this technically does not belong in the family this fish will actually bury itself by using its anal fin as a shovel creating a hole living in the hole attract head up, attracting fish with this as a lure, and then it will lunge out, attack, and drag them back into the hole. Tile fish are apex predators, so when we worry about foodborne illness, the one to worry about with this would be mercury. Mercury builds up in fish over time, so through the process of bioaccumulation, we have the four apex predators to worry about, tile fish, shark, king mackerel, and swordfish. If you are a woman of childbearing age, pregnant or nursing, old and infirmed, or young and developing brain, the government recommends that you avoid these fish but can safely consume up to 12 ounces per week. If you do the math, 12 ounces times 52 weeks divided by 16 ounces a year, which is still two and a half times as much fish as the American public eats on average, so you should be safe.